Ooh, not a good sound. I need elect. I need access to electricity. That's a non-negotiable. Hi, I'm Nikki Lynn Pugh, aka the Gentle Healthy Traveler. I'm a health coach, writer, and bunny mama. In 2022, I decided to trade in my high rent studio apartment for a 1993 Toyota Winnebago Warrior. We are just three gals having grand adventures as we trek down the highway on a budget and learning how to stay healthy along the way. Won't you join us? See you on the road. And this is my favorite time of day. It's also my favorite kind of weather. I just love it. Our mistakes I realized that I forgot to get gas well before I pulled in I have a little bit less than a fourth of a tank quick tip fill up before you pull into any situation where you might have to be for more than 12 hours and you have to use your generator if you're still on a generator so gel generator is gonna suck the gas basically so that's why um, and mine sucks quite a bit actually not as bad as I thought but it's still Maybe gonna go through a fourth of a tank every hour and a half. So I gotta keep that in mind. The only thing that I need the generator for here at the beach, because it's quite cool, I don't need to put the air conditioning on, thank goodness. But uh, I am gonna be doing some work. <laughs> good sound okay some videos you don't want to do but I know my trials help y'all so this morning after a beautiful walk on this lovely beach um, I uh, came back I was getting ready to do some work which means because I still have a generator um, I get to turn the generator on so I can recharge my computer. Yes, I know there are a million different ways to recharge a computer that is better than running a generator. I just get to figure out how to do that. So if you have any um, insights on that, please put it in the chat. But this, these videos are for newbies. We're on a super tight budget. We've got an older RV. Mine's a 1993 Winnebago um, Warrior with a Toyota chassis and a pretty good generator. Actually, since it um, is so old, but I do believe that they didn't use the generator that much. I think it's the original generator but when I bought it, only had like 16 hours on it, which everyone said, this is great. The only thing is that I do know that the carburetor and the generator needs to be um, cleaned out. So that could be it. There could be some clogging. A lot of times what people were saying is like, it's an older generator, don't mess with it. Um, let it work itself out just by using it and a lot of times it will um, unclog itself that was actually from from a professional so I'm like okay I hit the road with it kind of going like a vroom 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 right um, but it kind of kind of worked itself out it actually evens out when I have the AC on so a lot of times with these generators just kick on a kicking it into gear letting it rev up naturally is the good way to go however 
not sure what's going on right now. I turned it on fine this morning so I could recharge my computer and it worked fine. The computer was charging, then I noticed the light went off on the computer. What's going on? Then I did some testing of some of the outlets. We've got an outlet here, got an outlet here, and we've got an outlet here. There's basically three outlets. I've got a lot of extenders on there. So I've got three outlets and tested them all with different appliances. Um, and you know, my phone, a fan, nothing works. So I'm like, okay, so it's gotta be either the outlets themselves, highly unlikely. Um, this unit, this little unit right here, got this little unit here. This is an oldie, but a goodie. Actually not really a goodie anymore. It's been rehauled a little bit because it actually blew this internal area. This whole panel right here is new. It only cost me about eight bucks to replace that. Um, thank goodness, such a blessing. I had some professional help with the person that I was, property I was staying on for a while. I actually knew a little bit about this, so they helped me. Um, eventually I'm gonna take all this out, as you know, but kind of like band-aiding it together until we can get the funds to do that. I know that a lot of folks are in the same situation. That's why I'm I'm totally honest with my situation and what's going on. I'm just kind of doing the best I can, you know, with what I'm get, given, working a full-time job and on the road. So that being said, um, I was like, okay, maybe this is flitzing out again. But then I turned off the generator and turned it back on and nothing. <laughs> Crickets. I was like, okay, that's not good. So we're going to try it again. I let it sit for a little while. I'm pretty sure that I've got it plugged in correctly. That little thing actually goes directly into the unit. I'll show you, see if I can see this. You can kind of see it. There it is. It's going in. I will check that. But I'm thinking maybe I just need to let it sit. Maybe it got flooded or something. Let's give it another try. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, starts right up. Okay, so it wasn't starting, and now it's starting again. And what I'm gonna do, just to check that the, that the connection is good, is I'm gonna check the AC. That way, if the AC comes on, I know that I did my due diligence plugging that in correctly. Okay, the AC is not on, which means maybe I didn't plug it in correctly. I usually leave this whole area like this because I put my pillows in the corner there and I like to spread, you know, kind of spread out and get comfy. I've got um, kind of a lap desk and that's how I work. Um, I like that better than sitting traditionally uh, or, you know, I sit cross-legged or whatever. So um, this is how this is usually rolled out when it's just me. Of course, when I have guests, I usually put it up as a couch. But in order to get to the, our first line of inquiry is we're gonna see if maybe I flubbed up putting that in there. So we're gonna do that right, just in case it's in there wrong. Um, Another possibility is that we've got some wonkiness going on. I'll show you this. We've got some wonkiness going on with the with the cable itself. Um, the head of it is a little bit wobbly on the base of the cable itself. So I'll show you that. That could be another possibility. Maybe I need to kind of finagle that. Maybe put some more tape on that. Electrical tape, which I think I have, which is in the storage in the bathroom. So... That thing takes a little bit longer to get together, but that's okay. As long as you have a course of action, try not to get stressed out. Take a breather if you need to. Take a walk. <laughs> Things just take longer in an older RV. And a little got to be a little bit more creative. So, um, I get to change this up. I get to get in there and check to see if I put it on correctly. But in order to do that, I gotta flip this up into a couch again. So I'll be right back. Okay, now it's back up as a couch and 
here's my hammer. I'll show you why I need the hammer in a minute. <laughs> um, we've got this down to a pretty pat routine. Took a while to figure it out, but I'm going to take you down in there. You see that? Bad boy. All right, you see all that electrical tape? The reason why the electrical tape is there, it's just, I personally think this is, it's just a bad design. I can't see any other logical explanation, but you have to put this cable from the top. It has to be coming from the top in order to plug it in correctly so that this cable doesn't twist and bend. Because if you come in from the bottom, it's going to, it's going to bend the this neck area the area where the big thick cable connects to the plug um and i think that's what's happened in the past that's why somebody in the past needed to put that electrical tape in it so i might need to replace that pretty soon maybe right now i'm not sure anyways we're gonna unplug it plug it back in see if maybe that helps okay here we go Me luck, Misty. She's deeply involved with her toilet paper roll. Okay, let's see here. I'm gonna go around this side. Now I did, to the best of my ability, turn plug in the generator. Um, into its proper receptacle. So that's done. And now I am figuring out how to open this again. And look, I got a handy little dealy bobber. Okay. All right. Here we go. And there's the stop start button. We're just going to do this. And no. That would bypass any contraption or things going awry between this and the starter um, button inside. Not quite exactly sure what that is, but this was an option and that doesn't sound good at all. Okay, so that's not working. All right, so now we get to turn it on, which is good. I need to see how much gas I have anyways. Okay, hey, I've let the truck idle for about five minutes. Now we're gonna see if the generator kicks in. We're gonna try it from the inside first. Da, 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 da. Oh! It's, at least it's not grinding. Sorry, Misty. Woohoo! All right. That works. Mm. I wonder why. Now, get to try and see. It's so loud, but at least it's working. And, oh, check it out. Air conditioning working. All right. Success. Success! So now that we got everything to work, and, and just to recap, I did that by turning on the truck engine, which then allowed the generator to start from the inside. Generator wasn't starting from the inside nor the outside until I turned the truck engine on. Which means it could be A, the starter in the generator, B, the funky loose wires, C, something else I'm not thinking of. So now that we got that fixed, the question is why? Why did that happen? Does reality TV, RV style, right? <laughs> Older RV style. Oh yeah, yeah. So I put in a couple of calls. 
Uh, a lot of times with this older stuff, we have to just be very gentle with it. Treat it with kid gloves because it's older, just like us, right? Or <laughs> maybe you're young, I don't know, but I, I can relate. I can relate to you good old Winnie sometimes. We get to be gentle with ourselves. And that's how I feel about Winnie the Pew. Um, she's older, and, she, and sometimes we just have to be really gentle with things. And the generator's older. And a lot of times you don't know if things have been replaced because um, maybe you bought, you bought a rig. It didn't have all the paperwork with it, you know. So we just kind of have to not assume things, but uh, assume, but but take as fact that older uh, things like plastics and mechanics and stuff need to be handled with kid gloves. So I'm going to wait. Um, to hear back from some folks and um, to be continued. Of course, if you're watching this and you have an older RV, you have a rig and you got some hacks for older generators, besides, girl, get yourself a solar, which I totally know, um, put it in the chat. Let's have a conversation. Hey, you know, I'm learning while I'm, I'm sharing stuff. Hopefully you're learning some stuff too. And um, let's learn together. That's my whole thing. Let's learn together, folks. It's Nikki Lynn Pugh, a.k.a. The Gentle Healthy Traveler, saying we'll see you on the road. What's she doing, Nikki? Bunnies, just like people, like to feel safe and secure. She's hearing seagulls overhead. Somebody's running the generator, I think. Yeah.